Hi everybody and good morning. Welcome to our uh, week number six Twitch live stream for my uh, intro psych class. I don't know if you just saw that ad, but that was so cute. I was just sitting here waiting for it to be over. All the little uh, three little old ladies like sledding together. Super cute. Uh, but anyway, I hope everyone is doing well, enjoying this beautiful uh, weather that we have going on uh, today. I love the rain, so I'm super excited that it's, it's kind of drizzly. Um, though it did make my internet connection a little... Uh, not so fantastic. So hopefully everything will hang in there uh, for our time together today. So uh, week number six, we're kind of in the middle of our week five, six uh, chunk of time. So uh, what we will do is we'll go over what we have going on this week, uh, go over um, the things that we have that are due, uh, I will give you the Twitch extra credit question, and then of course see if you have any questions for me. So uh, let's go ahead and jump over to Canvas together. And as I said, we are right here. So we are in week number um, six. I can't believe it's the middle of November. Uh, I saw a couple of people with like Christmas lights up outside and it made me feel like I needed to get going on my lights uh, soon, hopefully, maybe, uh, maybe next week. But we are in weeks five and six. So if you haven't done the stuff from last week, of course, make sure that you go back and uh, start working on that. But we're going to focus on week number six since that is where we are at right now. And the topics we're looking at this week are chapters 11 and 12, two very like core topics of psychology. We're looking at human development and personality. Uh, so as always, you're going to want to make sure you do three things, right? Read the chapter in the ebook, read through my lecture and watch the lecture video, which might be good to take notes to uh, definitely pay attention. Uh, but those are things that will appear on the exam. You'll do the same thing for chapter 12 on personality. Then you have two discussions and an exam this week. So let's take a look at those materials together. So discussion number 11 is based off of chapter 11. Uh, as always, you have my instructions up here. So make sure you watch my brief video, uh, be detailed in your responses, answer all of my questions. Don't forget to also reply to a classmate to get those two kind of easy points. Um, so this one is all about human development. And uh, if you aren't a big country fan, you're going to get your country music fix <laughs> in this discussion this week. So the first thing I want you to do is listen to these two songs about being a teenager. One of them is 15 by Taylor Swift. And then one of them is Letter to Me by Brad Paisley. Both country songs. So either I'm sorry or you're welcome, depending on your preference. Um, the second thing that you're going to do is you're going to go on a field trip to a store that sells birthday cards. This could be Hallmark, Target, Walmart, the grocery store. Um, some gas stations even have grocery, uh, greeting cards, but somewhere that sells um, greeting cards. Once you're there, you're going to examine several cards and take notes on the messages and tones of them. Um, you can always take pictures of them if you wanted to, but I'd like you to look at a minimum of two cards for middle adulthood and late adulthood. So middle adulthood is like turning 30, 40, or 50. Late adulthood would be turning 60, 70, 80, or just aging in general. And after you have um, looked at some greeting cards and watched uh, the video with the songs, you're going to answer a couple of different questions. Um, so how do the songs 15 and Letter to Me incorporate or demonstrate some of the cognitive, social, and physical milestones or developmental focuses of being a teenager. I want you to give me specific examples from the lyrics, specific examples incorporating things from chapter 11. This is where people tend to lose points. I'm looking for you to point out a lyric in the song and how it connects to a concrete or specific topic in chapter 11. And you'll want to do that a couple of times. Then what are the general messages, tone, and focus of the cards for each age range that you looked at? What are some of the attitudes and stereotypes that you observed related to aging and getting older? And then just for fun, if you had to personally be stuck at one age for the rest of your life, what age would you pick and why? Um, and try not to overthink it. Just, you know, what age would you want to be stuck at if you had to be stuck? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and then finally, just a couple of quick notes. Um, you're welcome to post pictures of cards um, if you have them. And then uh, you're also welcome to do this digitally if that's easier. If you don't feel comfortable or aren't able to go out to a store to look at cards, you can look for them online and that's totally fine as well. So that's discussion number 11 on uh, aging and on human development. 
Discussion number 12 is related to the chapter on personality. So again, as always, you have my instructions and my video. Uh, I look like mischievous in that picture. <laughs> but for this one, um, you're going to be answering a couple of questions. So um, if you had to describe what has made you the person that you are today, what has shaped your personality, in other words, what would some key contributors be for you? I want you to briefly share a minimum of two factors that you feel have heavily contributed to your personality and explain how they've contributed and made you the person you are today. So this could be genetics, this could be something that happened to you, it could be people, it could be a place, it could be literally anything, but what are some things that have contributed to who you are today? Two of them and explain. Um, number two, in the spirit of the trait perspective, if somebody asked you to describe yourself in five words, what five words would you use? So five words to describe yourself. And then number three, I'd like you to ask two different people in your life who know you at least fairly well uh, to describe you in five words. Uh, ask people who know you in different roles, like a family member, a partner, a friend, a coworker. Uh, it could be a teacher who knows you pretty well. But what are the words that they used? Were they similar to yours? Were they different? Then you're going to kind of share your comments and reactions. Finally, you're going to take one of the personality quizzes that I have right here or at the end of um, the lecture on personality. And I want you to describe which quiz you took. What are your general reactions? What is the interpretation and how do you feel about that? Um, kind of overall like reactions. Is it do you think it's true? Is it reliable and valid? Is it not? Um, there's a variety of different quizzes you can take. These last two are definitely a little bit better. Um, the first two are more like for fun. So you could always do one of each. You're welcome to do more than one, but at least one quiz on personality and then describe um, your results and your reactions and, and process and so on. So you'll post here when you're ready. Don't forget to also reply uh, to a classmate to get those two points. The other thing that you have going on this week is you do have exam number three. Hard to believe that we are like three-fourths of the way through the class. So um, exam three this week, which you'll take on the ebook site, as always. Um, as always, you also have a study guide underneath it. So if you click on study guide number three, this exam is on chapters 9, 10, 11, and 12. So everything in this two-week unit. So make sure that you know all the terms from each of these chapters. Again, as I've mentioned a few times, if it were me, I would probably write or type out all of these terms and have it like in front of me. That way, if I can't remember like how many basic emotions Plutchik proposed, I can just look really quickly at my notes rather than having to flip through everything and try and find that. As usual, um, you have 75 minutes to complete the exam. You get one attempt. So uh, as always, some kind of general recommendations. Make sure that you're ready and organized before you begin. Uh, make sure you have good internet and a quiet space and have 75 minutes to complete it. Um, also a really good idea to not wait until the last minute. We definitely have some rain in our forecast this weekend. So uh, that sometimes messes with the internet. So definitely don't wait till Sunday night. Try and set yourself up for success. Take it a little bit earlier. Make sure you study and you prepare and that you're organized and ready to go. Uh, most of you have been doing really, really well on these exams. So uh, keep it up. Make sure that you study and prepare. You should be in really good shape. Um, as always, I will post a recording of this um, later. Uh, I have to like upload it and download it, but within a few hours, I'll have that up for you. And here's the week five and six checklist if you want to make sure that you've done everything. Otherwise, I do have a couple of quick reminders for you. I'll give you that extra credit question and see if you have any questions for me. Uh, one big one for me, uh, if you could take a couple of minutes to double check your subscription status. Uh, there are about 100 of you between the two sections of this class I have, and only 12 people um, are subscribed at this point. So uh, if you could take a few minutes to either renew that or figure that out, that would save me so much time. Um, if you're subscribed, I can just download your name versus having to go through and find it and um, highlight it and all sorts of stuff. So. It saves me a lot of time, and if you're watching this later, you can still get those extra credit points if you are subscribed on Twitch. So really appreciate those of you who keep doing that and making sure it's active. Um, thank you. It saves me some time and, and energy, and um, I always appreciate that. Um, the other reminder that I'll put in the chat here, our next Twitch live stream will most likely be a recording. 
Okay, so next week um, is Thanksgiving. Uh, it's the day before Thanksgiving, so I will try to do a live stream that morning. My family is all off, so that might make it a little tricky. Um, it will most likely be a recording. I will post an announcement about that as we get a little bit closer, um, see if I can figure out a way to kind of sneak that in. Uh, but worst case, it'll be a recording. We'll at least have that. We have class like normal all week. Uh, next week, obviously, uh, you know, take a break on Thursday if you want to, but we do have kind of a typical week since we're online. Um, and I will do my best to sneak in a live stream at the worst case, it will be a recording. Um, let me give you the Twitch extra credit question so that you can answer that if you are here um, with me live or if you are subscribed and watching this later, you can do that as well. So let me just copy and paste this into the chat. So this is the week number six, uh, Twitch extra credit. Let me put it in the chat here. Um, what are Piaget's four stages of cognitive development? Describe and give me one element or feature of each stage. What are Piaget's four stages of cognitive development? Describe all four and give me one element or feature of each stage something that we're focusing on in the developmental unit this week. And if you would like to answer that, you'll go back to Canvas. Since we're in week six, you'll click on optional Twitch extra credit number six right here. And then up at the top, click on start assignment. Oops. And then right here in the box, you can type your response. Okay, and then when you're done, hit submit. This is due by Sunday night at 11.59 p.m. Uh, remember that if you are live with me, um, then you can put your name in the chat unless you're subscribed. If you're watching this later, make sure you're subscribed in order um, for me to see that you did watch it. Um, but feel free to do this. Not too many more opportunities for extra credit. So I hope you take advantage of that as we uh, start to get into the last few weeks of the semester. We only have a couple of weeks left. After this week, we move into uh, week seven and eight, and that is it for us. So um, again, I will do my best to sneak in a live stream next week, or worst case, we'll give you a video. Uh, we'll definitely have one during our last week of class um, so that I can touch base with you one final time. So um, I will hang out for a little while if you do have any questions or thoughts or comments or anything. Otherwise, I hope you all enjoy this uh, beautiful weather, enjoy the rain um, and the cool weather. I'm, I'm super grateful for that in the spirit of Thanksgiving <laughs> that's coming up. Um, if I don't see you live next week, I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. If it's something that you celebrate, uh, eat a piece of food for me and I will do the same for all of you and we will all be very full, right? Uh, but I hope you're all hanging in there and doing well. Just a couple of weeks left and then we uh, get a little bit of a break. So um, thank you so much uh, for joining me live. I'm gonna minimize my video here, but I will hang out for a little bit if you do have any questions or thoughts or comments or anything for me. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, you as well. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. So anyone have like a favorite Thanksgiving food that you're like really excited for? Mine is uh, my partner makes this spinach and artichoke dip that we always have right before, uh, like in the morning of Thanksgiving, like late morning, early afternoon. Oh, and I look forward to it every year. That's my favorite. Anyone else have like a favorite Thanksgiving food that you uh, are super excited about? If you do, feel free to put it in the chat. And if not, no worries. Just uh, I'm always happy to think about food, you know. 